Good morning. This is Manish talking here. Today I'll be informing you about an endangered species, the pileated gibbon. Adorable as they are, these cuddly creatures are at risk of extinction. Let's first take a look at their biological features. The pileated gibbon, known to scientists as Hylobate pileatus, is a family of gibbons that thrive in Southeast Asia, Asia, mostly in tropic regions such as Cambodia and Thailand. Like other gibbons, they have slender bodies and long arms. I am so jealous. And no tail. Similarly to us, they are mammals. Like many mammals, these creatures love to dine on sweet fruits. When young, they depend on their mother for nutrition. If that is not possible, humans come to the rescue, providing them with milk they need to survive in conservation centers. Male gibbons have short black hair with white hands and feet. Females, on the other hand, have similar colors to the males, but may be darker according to ELO.org. They also have a throat sac under their chin, which helps them produce loud calling sounds. The female call is much louder and calls with a rising tone, which can last up to 18 seconds. They can sway from tree to tree with gaps up to 9 meters. They usually move small distances by foot. They can also climb and feed at the same time. How cool is that? Due to the increase of, in human population, more people are taking over forest area, decreasing the room available for these beautiful creatures to breed and jump around. Pollution and hunting are also amongst other reasons why their population is decreasing. Human activities are accelerating their ex extinction and is it, it is up to us to save them. This species is protected under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, also known as CITES. The Royal Association of Zoos and Aquariums, known as WASA, have also since 1990 set up many conservation programs all around the world to help with the breeding of these gibbons. The Cardamon Project in Cambodia was also set up especially to save these gibbons from habitat destruction and hunting. We should donate to these projects or set up our own small projects to help with the awareness to save these species from extinction. To end off on a good note, humans are the main reason for extinction of many species and it is up to us to save them before it's too late. Is it really fair to these animals if we don't do anything? What if one day we were going to be extinct? We would expect someone else to help us, wouldn't we?